Justice says Cherry keeps his hands high, exposing his body. Good exchange there. This is going to be a great fight. I'm telling you right now. Bradley trying to get Cherry to back up. Cherry does not like to fight uh, while going backwards. Now there's the jab of Edner Cherry. He, he acknowledges that's a very important weapon. Both men really are good jabbers, and both men are very good body punchers as well. The Bradley jab getting in as well. Oh, the left hook there by Bradley. You know, that one stunned Edner Cherry, and I didn't think the left hook would be a major weapon for Bradley. I was worried about him throwing it because he could be countered by Cherry, but boy, he landed that one very well. Good opening round. Both guys stop, very stop. aggressive coming forward and getting right to it. Here in Biloxi. You know, the first half of this round belonged to Cherry, but the second half belongs to Bradley. Tough one to score. Bradley's got pop. We'll see if uh, Cherry feels the difference in power at 140, but Cherry is pretty durable, and it's not easy to take him out with one punch. He's never been stopped. And Bradley has never been down. Pro or amateur, 145 amateur fights. Done. Cherry's been down three times. Came back to KO all three. How you feel? Okay, hey, take his jab away. Remember, he's trying to come in with a jab to set up with a left hook. Son. Yes, sir. You understand? When you're in close, you gotta show your power in yes, close. All right? Yes, so show your power in close, just like the body back, just like Paulie said, body back. Under and over, over and under. Right hand, left hook, everything, everything that everything that, that we've yeah, worked on. Yeah, he's good for that right hand. Uh, call me right, right hand to zombie. Okay? You know what to do. I don't have to tell you what to do. Pete Fernandez uh, mentioning the power to Edner Cherry. Cherry said he feels strong at this weight. He sparred, uh, as you know, Al, with Andre Berto. Feels great. He said the reason he struggled against Paulie Malinaji at 140 was due to lifting weights. It made him stronger but slower. He says now his punches are crisper. When they're on the inside, the Tim, Timothy Bradley has a habit of kind of having his head get in the way of other people's eyes. <laughs> and uh, Junior Witter was concerned about it, and uh, uh, Cherry a little concerned on the inside about that. Another interesting thing to look out for, Bradley likes to take risks, but that's because he trusts his chin. As we mentioned, he's, he's never been down. So we'll see if uh, that plays a part in the, uh, in the fight. You know, one of the subplots already being acted out is this business of who can control the jab. Cherry did it early, and now Bradley is doing it. And, and whoever does it here really controls the fight. And that, there's a way right there that Bradley used the jab to land that straight right hand. And now uh, Bradley landing with more uh, regularity. There's that beautiful jab. It's all he's about that. Yep. And, and Edgar Cherry stopped using it about a minute into the first round. And he's got a good one, especially yeah. when he doubles it up, Cherry. Bradley, uh, stop, stop, stop. All of a sudden falling into step a back. nice zone. Carter, step back. Third man of the ring, Gary Ritter out of Edmond, Oklahoma. The champion Bradley in the camouflage, black and white. The challenger, Edgar Cherry in the Bahamian stop. blue, right. black step and yellow. The colors of uh, the Bahamas. He uh, is originally from uh, Nassau, the Bahamas. Bahamian, Bahamian, potato, potato. <laughs> Coming up on a minute left in the second. Cole Porter when you need him. Nice right by Bradley on the inside. And it's the use of the jab by Bradley that has controlled this round for the most part and, and opened up his right hands. That was Cherry getting in with his own right, but it wasn't quite as dramatic as Bradley's had been. Bradley, who works extremely hard in the gym, his own trainer says it'll probably shorten his career. But he really studies opponents diligently. That was evident in the Junior Witter fight. 
and we feels he's got uh, Cherry down pretty well. Stop. Yeah, he's the opposite of Cherry. Cherry lets his corner people look at the, the video. I don't look at him. Uh, Timothy Bradley pours over them. Good second round for Timothy Bradley again. As we head for the bell, round two. Beautiful work. I like that. Keep your, keep keep that composure, okay? I want you to keep that composure. Hey, don't stay in front of him. Rinse. Hey, how you feel, baby? You got this? Yeah. You got this? Okay. Yeah, look. Hey. Timothy Bradley really unloaded with the jabs. See, there's a double jab. It, it set up the straight right hand to the body. And really, the, the story of that round were those jabs. Let your hands go. You understand? Show this boy your power. Let your hands go in tight. No more than one jab at me. You know, he's slipping your jab. You understand? So you're going to have to just bust this boy's body, man. Bust his body. Bust his boy's body, man. Not easy to bust something that's difficult to find. He is so elusive, uh, is Tim Bradley and Edward Cherry. Uh, Finding that out here in the early going. Round three, scheduled for 12 for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. And uh, just to clarify, the main event originally scheduled, uh, Campbell versus Guzman canceled. Uh, the official word will be because uh, Joan Guzman refused to fight. Just wanted to make sure you were understanding of that. It was when he came in three oh, so three some pounds over the weight limit and tried to lose the weight and then felt he could not go on. And it uh, wasn't that long ago, folks. It was just uh, a matter of, uh, what, an hour or so, an hour and a half ago when uh, all of this uh, came down in terms of the final announcement that the fight was off. Got him a little low. Neither man working as hard on the inside as I think they would like. A little holding going on. They're both very good body punchers, and so you would anticipate a little more of that going on in there. Their heads are banging together in there. Okay, stop, breaks, come back. And as you mentioned, uh, Cherry uh, very cognizant of that as Bradley leans in, so he's got to be careful of cuts. You know, Peter Fernandez pointed out what we had said, that the jab of Cherry is being slipped a lot by Bradley. That's why they wanted to go to the body. And he, and he obliged by getting okay, inside. There's the clash of hands we talked about. Okay. Almost right on cue of our statements. Now it's Cherry coming forward, missing wildly with the right and the left because of the defensive maneuvering of uh, Bradley. Tim Bradley's defense is probably underrated part of his game. He slips punches very well. And then Bradley on the attack, surging forward. Bradley looking very sharp, right hand to the ear of Cherry. Bradley's done a good job of using his swing. He told us he was going to push Cherry back. He hasn't exactly done that, but instead what he's done is lured Edgar Cherry in and then thrown very good counter punches. Setting nice traps. You know, he gets to spar, does Timothy Bradley with Breaks some excellent fighters. Joel Diaz's brothers, uh, Antonio and Julio, both world-class fighters. Julio, a former champion, uh, they they spar with Bradley, and that's pretty good sparring. It is a family affair in Bradley's corner. The trainer is Cutman Joel Diaz, along with Antonio Diaz. Uh, Tim's father, Timothy Bradley Sr., is also in the corner. This combination by Andrew Cherry he has not thrown a lot of combinations in this fight. Final seconds, round three. Cherry doing the chasing, but interesting. Not getting very far with it. No, don't say that. You listen to me. Listen to me, good. You hear me? I want you to listen to me like you've never listened to me before. You've got to, you've got to not right here. Right here, buddy. 